So one of my favorite advertising jingles for buying Bisma. Why the fuck would you buy silver when you could buy a hundred times more Bisma? And now that I've poured the same design with both of them, it, it really, it, it really reinforces that concept because I like the Bismuth one a whole lot better. This one is silver, and this one is Bismuth. Now, getting the pattern on the back of that silver uh, requires really good skill of how you pour it. Um, but this is about 10 ounces of silver. And unfortunately, it's very damaging to the graphite molds compared to pouring bismuth. I mean, granted, the, the, the Tree of Life one that I had, I had, I had already poured probably uh, 100 bars of bismuth. Uh, and, um, but it completely fell apart after the silver. Oh, well, I got 100 out of them. So I'll have to think about um, uh, some other material uh, or some other design. Granted, there was a lot of detail in the Tree of Life design. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm so glad I'm getting good at this because eventually I want to melt some of the junk um, gold coins that I have. I have a bunch of double eagles. They're low grade. And, um, and then I got some uh, Canadian maples and uh, small ones. Yeah, I hate to melt those. Uh, never mind. I'm not going to melt the double eagles. I'll probably melt the, the junk um, Canadian uh, maple leaves at some point. The nice thing about the maple leaves is that it's pure. I find if I melt not 100% silver, a bunch of the copper will oxidize and make a mess out of it. So I'll probably stick with 100%. Um, but um, the other difference I noticed, and this one comes from one of the properties of bismuth and silver, so bismuth expands when it freezes from the liquid state. Silver contracts, and um, you can see that when the bismuth expanded, it, it broke itself up in the designer, kind of like ice in the freezer, right? Now, what's really interesting is that I do uh, tutoring in AP uh, physics, and a lot of people are surprised when I say that uh, bis uh, sometimes I'll, I'll point out that bismuth is one of the few things that expands when it freezes, and most of my students will go, isn't that what most things do? And well, no, you live on a planet that is full of stuff that does, right? But there's a whole other set of chemicals that don't, right? Just goes to show how little experience most people have of, with uh, their, their, their world, right?